Hello friends, and welcome back to another video. Um, as you have read in the title, I'm just going to be unboxing a box of the new Primaris Eliminator. So this is the multi-part kit from the Shadow Spear Eliminators, like this. They are nice models, I do like them. I'm glad we've got the multi-part kit, there's a lot of stuff in here. I like like the ruins on the base, it's quite nice. I'm always a fan of, you know, odds and ends you can stick onto a base of models. Now this is obviously uh, the kit with the bolt rifle, or the sniper rifles, and the last fusel. So they're kind of like, you know, mobile miniature last cannons. I do like them. Um, this box has, it comes with uh, one large sprue and one small sprue, so three models, one on each part. I've already built one to show you guys after I finished recording this. So this is the box, it retails at £30 in the UK. Um, obviously there are some other places that do provide uh, discounts. So there should be a link in, somewhere, maybe in the description or on my page to Element Games. Um, they do quite a, a nice discount and of course um, I get a small percentage of that which goes towards the channel. So on the back it's the usual back art, I hope you can see what it says. Uh, lethal Vanguard Combat Snipers. So I like the fact that we have the usual colour chart as ideas and just some general ideas and the last few so, um, they have sidearms and then there should be a bulk carbine. So I'm going to open the box and we will see what it contains. So, of course it has, get rid of the box, has the bases, I can't remember the size of these, 40 I think. So you do get three, like I say I've had one. So that's the sprue, have a look at that in a second. So Vanguard eliminators and then all the rules and how to build them it's super simple really it's um and then we get the standard ultramarine i'm getting a shadow somewhere an ultramarine um infantry transfer that words escaped me so on the sprue you get so you have two on here so you can crack it in half and then there's another a third one that i've built so you get the last fusel the bolt sniper rifle and on here is the carbine the um, the terrain piece for the bases there's quite a few they do tend to attach um, I, that's such a good touch I like it and then it's imposing there is heads now the one thing I was annoyed with with the shadow spear eliminators was the lack of choice of heads I like mine I would like for mine all to have hoods you do get that option in this kit so various hooded options um, I've also the last fusils on the back have a little ah, you won't be able to see that there's a little bit a little cable that actually specifically attaches to one of these heads on the eye um, and then you get the capes. Uh, there is an easy way to do the capes. And I will do a video about that soon. It uses contrast. It's super, super easy. Um, I have one I have built. And of course, typically, I have lost it. No, here it is. I'm so organized. Yay. So here we go. This is the last fusel. And then the nice. Uh, terrain part for the base. I like these models. I really like these models. Um, yeah, you know, that's really good. I'm going to do a quick, a very quick rules. So, um, they don't give any points in the um, data sheet, but um, the last fusel is a 36 inch range, heavy one, strength 8, minus 3, uh, 3 damage. It's a heavy weapon, so if you play Space Marines and you get the Combat Doctrines, in turn 1 they are AP4, they are nerfing pretty much anything that doesn't have an invun save. Um, the Squad Sergeant get Guided Aim, so if the Sergeant uses, um, not Guiding Aim, yeah, so the Sergeant uses a different weapon, 
you get bonuses to the uh, add one to hit roll and wound roll. That's quite good. And then here we go, covering fire. So uh, if the Eliminator Sergeant fires Overwatch with his instigator bolt carbine, which is that one. Um, you can, this is really good, you can move as if it was your movement phase, so you get charged, you fire overwatch using that weapon and then immediately move so you could move out of charge range. That's a new uh, rule for these guys, I like that, I can see they're being used quite a bit. So you'll bung them up in no man's land with their camo cloaks and if you do charge them, you know, angels of death rules do apply and then they can just leg it, well of course concealed positions and then the bolt sniper rifle are what they were in the shadow spear information so that's not changed so that's these guys they are fantastic i like them they are very large models as well i know they're crouching but even compared to other primaris they are very large models and i do like them um, i'm also going to do one thing that i hadn't mentioned in the description is the good old primaris box so intercessors, they are really good. I like these new rules around the, um, let's flip it over, around the auto bolt rifle. Three shots, assault, very good. I have tried that, that's awesome. So I am kind of buying, I usually buy rule of cool, so if I like a model, I'll buy it to paint. But I am a bit gamey sometimes, so I will buy stuff. And I need these to um, work on my company making it yeah you know, I do the glorious third ultramarines company so I'm gonna make all six squads primaris um, the box if you've not bought these these are 35 pounds from games workshop obviously other retailers do discounts aka element games um, the box itself I won't go too much into detail but you get just an absolute ton of options. I mean, I bought a box of 10 just after Christmas last year and I am still using parts. What I want to say about these is due to some more recent changes, uh, citing the new codex, um, our lovely sergeant here can take um, more combat weapons. So chain, sword, power fist, power sword. You can now have a hand flamer as well so we don't have the hand flamer model to put on this guy apart from obviously older versions so I'm thinking they'll either rebox them or they'll add that as a upgrade sprue just like all the new chapters have got upgrade sprues the uh, iron hands the raven guard the white guards and all the other ones I wouldn't mind seeing a new one for the ultramarines they have one already but I wouldn't mind seeing a better one like some more uh, transfers, third company transfers would be awesome, we always get second and then yeah, power fist, the flame for this unit, I'm not sure how handy a hand flame would be, um, apart from in combat you can just pop out and then angel of death, these guys are throwing out a lot of shots, if you do the do all of them at assault bolter, that's uh, 3 shots each, that's 30 shots if you do it during the uh, Assault Doctrine I think it is, it becomes minus one. It's good, these are good, but hopefully they're going to get updated, or I think what's more likely is the upgrade sprue which has a hand flamer in it. We've seen a hand flamer on the uh, the new Salamanders specific character for when they get their supplement. Uh, so yeah, that's a, it's a shortish video, but that's just what I'd, I I wanted to do that a little bit just to give you guys an idea of what to expect from these boxes. These models are beautiful. I can't wait to paint mine. I've not painted any, but I have got a new way of painting. So here we go. This is the librarian, Phobos pattern librarian from the um, Jadisphere box. And I did the cloak, all of the cloak with, let's get it out, with Agro Dunes Contrast. I may, there is no may, I will do a video covering that. So I'm going to do that on these. It's super easy. And it, it looks good. They're one of my favourite. That's one of my favourite models. So the question is, do you take the sniper rifle or the last fusel? Or just buy loads? I don't know. But again, element games. Okay, so uh, that's the end of my video. I just want to thank you guys for 
and you know liking my videos and subscribing to me uh, you know share my videos show me some love put some video suggestions in the comments um, and I have a Patreon shout out so Tim's Hobby Corner and Plutonium OD you guys are awesome and you really make it happen and thank you and if anybody else would like to help my channel that would be greatly appreciated I want to get a backdrop so you don't see my kitchen and then this camera here isn't very good so there's links in the description to my um, Patreon there will be rewards coming for doing that um, and then there's other links in there for um, Instagram, Twitter, I have a Discord server you're all welcome to cl click on those and join in and I'm gonna say um, thanks for watching um, have a good time and happy hobbying